I always like to get away from, you know, everyday life. Not that I couldn't do an everyday 9 to 5 job, but being little I was able to uh, become the world's smallest stripper. Who can say that? My name is Cassandra, and I am the world's smallest exotic dancer. I go by Sassy Cassie. I travel the country to different gentlemen's clubs and perform my shows, doing acrobatics, climbing the pole, just having an adventure. I am two foot ten inches tall and um, 30 years old. Hello! Hi, honey. How are you? Good. Look at my girl. The dwarfism that I have is called cartilage hair hypoplasia also known as CHH for abbreviation. That type of dwarfism is very rare. Not many people in the country have it. Ugh. This is where you and me are sleeping, Marley. My dwarfism affects my hips quite badly right now. Mobility is, Get up here. you know, walking long distances is hard for me. I can still do my acrobatics as far as handstands and climbing the pole. As far as daily things, I can still do the things that somebody five and a half feet can do. I just have to work a little bit harder and get things that will adapt to my height. Yeah, I'm gonna get you food in a minute, Mr. Whiny Pants. Excuse me, Lila. I first started dancing when I was 19 years old. An agency reached out to me and they said, would you like to join our company, travel the world to different clubs and make money? And at 19 years old, I was like, hell yeah, of course. Here I go. You know, and that's kind of how it all started. I didn't choose this job, I was asked to do it. It's cool. <laughs> I have a mustache. No. Okay, no, no. Thank you. I try to um, keep my career life separate from my family life. You know, I'm still me because my job doesn't define who I am as a person, but we don't talk about it. You know, we're up at the cabin right now just having fun time with my little cousins. Everybody's hungry, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what are we making? Um, egg burritos with some steak and veggies. No onions, onions in mine. mine. <laughs> no onions in yours? And just you know, keeping that separate because it doesn't need to be brought up, you know. This is a lot. <laughs> I'm telling you. Good Not that they, you know, disown me for it, but it's just something that, you know, not every family wants to hear that you're a stripper. Early on, it was very difficult. It was, it of course, was not my choice for her, and she knows that. And then I worked through it, and she has her own journey. It's not my journey. My family was very scared and nervous for me doing this, but I always had, you know, somebody to travel with me. All right, can you turn off, please? From the moment Cassie was born, she was a little spitfire. She was the child that would go right up to the line and step over it. Okay, who wants the first one? My father, he is about six feet tall. My mother, I'd say an average woman's height, and, um, my sister, who's also little, same type of dwarfism, she's just about three feet tall. No, you can't eat this, Marley. It's mine. Me and my sister, I'd say we are complete opposites. As far as, you know, me being the world's smallest dancer and her being the world's smallest minister, pretty different, you know, ends of the spectrum there. I'm in the process of trying to become ordained. My sister is an exotic dancer and that, that is the path she chose, and I don't really know why she chose that path, but um, I love her and I support her. I, I don't always agree with the decisions she makes, but she doesn't always agree with the decisions I make, and that's part of being siblings. You, you look out for each other, you try to protect each other, and so, you know, I worry about her and she worries about me. I think you know why I decided to just jump on the gun with this job so quickly is because it'd be fun. You know, I always like to get away from, you know, just everyday life, you know, and this was a chance to do that, a chance to make money.
I have met a lot of celebrities. I have performed on stage with Snoop Dogg. That was a lot of fun. Um, he's quite tall compared to me. <laughs> Sometimes I've been to bikini bars where it's just, you know, you gotta wear full bottoms, you can't take off your top. Some clubs have been topless and some have been nude. I've done them all. Um, I do a lot of pole work in my shows, gymnastics, you know, um, cartwheels, handstands. There are, you know, certain things that I won't do. I have been offered, you know, to be a porn star and I turned down the offer. It's not something I want to do with my life. I have plenty of porn star friends. They're great people and I love them, but just not the career that I want to do. This one club in Las Vegas wanted me to uh, come out on stage in a diaper and a bonnet and then take my clothes off. I told the guy that, oh hell no. That is highly inappropriate. I'm not gonna be able to be a dancer my whole entire life. You know, my body's gonna not be able to dance anymore and I'm gonna have to do a different career. I would like to do it, you know, as long as I can, as long as I still enjoy it. After I'm done dancing, I would love to write a book on all my travels. I have a bunch of funny stories, you know, some real life stuff. She's taken what she's been given and she's made a life for herself and I, I'm proud of her. I'm proud of my beautiful child. <laughs>